What's going on everyone? It's Asil Suede. Welcome to the video and in this video I'm going to be showing you all a full day of eating. I'll be showcasing my two meals a day diet. This diet is incredible when I want more flexibility in my dieting routine and just in general if I'm out traveling and honestly this really has gotten me in the best shape of my life. I'm out here visiting my girlfriend Jordan's parents right now 20 minutes from where I went to college back in university and I did this specific two meals a day diet to get in my best shape of my life at the time and I know it's going to help so many guys out there. You don't have to eat five to six meals a day. This is so enjoyable and you can still get shredded, get amazing results, I promise. So stick around for the whole thing. If you wanna see more videos and vlogs like this, eating two meals a day, and just in general, showcasing my diet like this, make sure you smash the like button right now, but let's get started. All right guys, so I'm about to get started with meal number one. However, I do wanna mention that it's actually almost 12 o'clock right now. So I did not eat for the first four hours of my day. That means I woke up at around eight in the morning and all I've been doing is drinking black coffee and water. So if you're gonna be following this two meals a day diet plan, I strongly strongly, strongly, strongly recommend you intermittent fast. So just don't eat the first couple of hours of your day. Drink a natural zero calorie caffeine, like black coffee, and then lots of water to hydrate. You have to make sure you're really upping your water intake here. Because in the, the day, a lot of you guys are not hungry in the morning. You just think that you need to eat and you can be more productive when you fast. But anyways, this is gonna be meal number one, four hours after waking. What I'm gonna be doing is following a little bit more of a higher fat, higher protein, of course, and lower carb approach. Because it's a lot easier to eat higher fat when you're like eating out or just in general traveling. There's just more fat in foods nowadays out there. We have some greens we're having for meal number one. So Jordan's dad dropped these off. Apparently these are real chicken eggs. Look at the color of these. I didn't even know real chicken eggs were different colors. But anyways, we also have egg whites just to bump the protein here without increasing the fats. We have some steak I'm gonna cut up. Pretty much just having like a steak and eggs vegetable medley. literally got dirt on it. All right, is that like the chickens? Ugh. Ew. Ugh, I'm getting another one. Okay, so I just got done preparing meal number one, which is going to be a suede steak scramble. Jordan totally just came up with that five minutes ago, but we're gonna call it the suede steak scramble. So this has almost 70 grams of protein. So again, I told you all I'm following a high protein, higher fat and lower carb diet today because again, we're eating out or I know that and I've planned it. So this is perfect to do this specific strategy because it's just gonna be easier to eat higher fat when I'm out. This is gonna consist of a cup of egg whites, two of those eggs. We're gonna see how warm fresh eggs taste. I always buy store brand generic stuff. Is anyone else just like, but we also have a cup of spinach, some mushrooms, and then we have about four ounces of steak. So again, 70 grams of protein here. I'm loading up on a lot of protein here because again, we're not having many meals. Obviously in two meals, you gotta kind of like have tons of protein. It's gonna fill you up also for the next couple of hours. So I won't be eating the next meal for quite a while until dinner. So that's like six hours from now. Anyways guys, cheers. Mmm, good. Those eggs, you can definitely taste how fresh they are. I don't know if they're worth the extra $10 a carton. They were free. Really good. They were free. Free games, y'all. Free games. So I do want to mention a lot of you might find this two meals a day diet very skeptical like no way this will work No way I can lose body fat or like stay healthy doing this I've been a type 1 diabetic for 23 years now if I can do this and my blood sugars are so amazing when I do do this And I can also maintain doing this then I promise you can too like it really is a good strategy Even me being a diabetic. Hopefully that makes you feel a little bit more confident at least trying this out <laughs> All right, y'all, so I'm here at the OG gym. I used to train up back in college. So I wanna take you all through a quick upper body training routine that any one of you all can do while you're following this diet routine because at the end of the day, you need to make sure you're training right while you're dieting. Like, it's not all just about your eating or like X amount of meals. You have to make sure you're actually training to retain muscle mass as you're dropping body fat. What we're gonna do first is some flat dumbbell bench press for three sets of eight to 10 reps. <laughs> So for the second exercise in this upper body routine, we're gonna move on to back after chest because it's just like a main muscle group, you definitely wanna target that first. So we're doing the lat pull down. You cannot go wrong with the lat pull down. Honestly, it just feels super good. Works out your entire back, but also more importantly, your lat. Make sure you're doing three sets of 10 to 12 reps here.
All right, y'all, so third exercise here, we're gonna be doing the seated dumbbell Arnold press for shoulders. I wanna show you all how I do this. So this is a really good one for doing an upper body routine, so that way you work more muscle groups. Start like this, bam, three sets, 10 to 12 reps. Next up, we're moving up to arms. We're almost done here, so this is gonna be a super set just so we can do this a little bit quicker. I feel like upper body workouts always take forever. I don't wanna be here for an hour and a half. I don't know about you, I love the gym, but not that much. So we're doing three sets of 10 to 12 reps. We're starting off with the easy bar curls, super setted immediately with easy bar skull crushers for three sets of 10 to 12 reps. So I put on a shirt just to sweat more while I do cardio, but I'm doing some low intensity steady state cardio post-workout. I actually don't recommend you guys do high intensity cardio while you're following this two meals a day eating strategy because it's just gonna really ramp up your appetite and you're gonna get so much more hungrier throughout the day. You definitely don't wanna do that when you're restricting yourself to less meals. But I personally like to do jumping on a treadmill, doing a higher incline of around 10 to 12, and then a low speed of around three to 3.2 for about 20 minutes, three to four times per week while I'm dieting like this. Or what you could do is go on long walks for about 30 to 45 minutes three to four times per week just to burn more calories throughout the week that way you're losing more body fat throughout the week without even realizing it because you're not even hungry okay guys so i just want to give you all a quick update on broats so if you don't know i'm starting a protein oatmeal company called broats and this is legendary i got my manufacturer who's developing my product to send me the new second round samples and i really think this is it we did a lot of work to completely transform these to make sure these are the best tasting protein oatmeal you will ever eat so i'm really excited to try these because if these are a banger then this is it. We're gonna start developing them and just kind of like move forward. So let's go ahead and give them a try. We have maple brown sugar broats and then we also have chocolate peanut. Cannot wait to show you all of these days. I'm excited. Oh, look at that texture. Woo! Check that out, guys. You have never seen protein only like that in your entire life, I promise. First off, this has 31 grams of protein in one serving. So the beautiful thing about protein oatmeal, first of all, I've been eating it the last seven years of my entire fitness journey. Seriously, every single day, nothing has changed. However, I don't want you guys to like go through the process of making protein oats. All you need is just half a cup of water, and then you put it in the microwave for only 75 seconds. That's it. We'll see how these turn out. I'm so excited and honestly very scared because it takes a really long time to get samples and redevelop the formula and the recipe. So we're really building broats together. I cannot wait. It smells amazing. Look at that, guys. Just look at how this looks like. By the way, you can use almond milk or water. I'm just using water right now. Look at how insane that is. 31 grams of protein. Look at that. One serving. 270 calories. Good luck beating that Quaker. Good luck beating that Kodiak. Cheers to the squad. The suede squad. Oh my god. That's it. 100 percent That's it. This is unbelievable. Okay, Jordan's gonna give it a try. What do you think, babe? We got Stephanie, AKA Jordan's mom. What do you think? All honesty, she's got oats every morning. Very good. Insane, right? I love the texture. Right? It's perfect. Yeah, 31 perfect. grams of protein too, like mm. insane. We got the chocolate peanut broats. Let's go ahead and give this a try. Ooh, look at that, look at that. That is one serving, folks. Half a cup of water. Oh, that smells so good. Literally a brownie cake. I cannot get over how much volume there is in this. I can't believe this is one serving. Final batch of the chocolate peanut broats going down. Cheers again to the squad, the sweet squad. Love y'all, man. Wow, 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 wow. This is like a fudge brownie. I know. <laughs> Guys, I literally have goosebumps right now. I cannot believe that this is my product. I created it. Broats is something that I've been dreaming of. I know it sounds silly, but I've been eating protein oatmeal ever since I started my fitness journey. It's literally my favorite thing to eat. And the fact that now I'm creating my own protein oatmeal company that I know for an absolute fact that there's nothing else like it in the entire world and that you guys are gonna absolutely love it blows my mind. And I do wanna say that this product right here is all because of you guys. I cannot wait for you to get your hands on it. So now we're gonna move forward. I'll keep you more updated with Broats, along with Diabetic, because Diabetic is gonna be the nonprofit. We're gonna donate a percentage of profits that we make from Broats and give it to type one diabetic families in need who don't have health insurance in order for them to get insulin to actually live because I've been a type one diabetic for 23 years now. So I wanna give back. I'm creating a product that I love. I'm giving back to a cause that I've tremendously struggled with my entire life, but I just appreciate your support, man. This right here would not be possible without you. We're gonna make it together. All right, guys, so I'm back from the gym. We did our training, we did our car 
cardio and honestly, I was pretty filled up after meal number one because I had so much protein. You know, it was loaded with not only high protein, but also a lot of fat. So it kept me sustained with energy. Moving on to a snack. All right, this is kind of cheating. Obviously, it's not technically like two meals when you're doing this because you're consuming calories, but it's a snack. So we're doing a scoop of protein powder. You know, my protein is the best out there in the world. I keep it wherever I go, even while I'm traveling. We have this bag of Impact Way protein powder. Leave this link in the description box down below if you guys want to check this out yourself. I love salted caramel. I could literally bring this when I travel. It's got 18 grams of protein a scoop, only 100 calories, so it's amazing. Supplementation makes this eating strategy so much easier because you obviously want to hit your protein goal intake for the day. This is definitely the go-to for me to do that without having to eat tons and tons of meat. Stuff tastes better even when you travel. All right, y'all, so we are here at a place called The Wine Lab in Blackford, Virginia. Here with Jordan's mom. We're doing some dinner. Now we're just doing like some dips. Eat the rest of the calories today without being so cautious, but also eating higher protein. What do you struggle with most when you're trying to lose body fat or stay in shape? What would you want to fix? Maybe people like relate to it. I would say snacking. Snacking. I, I like to snack a lot. So I like reduce snacking and stuff? Reduce snacking. Okay. We'll get to that later in this video, but we're going to enjoy dinner. Forgot to mention what exactly this is. So we have a bunch of gluten-free breads. And just a tip here, like I'm not going to have a ton of of the bread, but really good like high protein dips here. We have muscle pate, smoked trout. This, my friends, is hummus. Not hummus, by the way, hummus. You know, you know. All right, y'all, so the main entree just came out. Look at how massive this salad is. So we have tons of turkey. Actually, what I typically do when I'm following this diet plan is I get double the protein. So whether it's chicken breast, turkey, whatever it may be, get double. Then also, again, we're like following more higher fats and like lower carbs today, and obviously high protein. So tons of turkey, a little bit of avocado for fats, balsamic and olive oil, a little bit of nuts, lots of salad. Look at how much volume this is. This is insane. It's gonna fill you up. And uh, when you're traveling, just get higher volume, higher protein meals, you know, things that are gonna satiate you, satisfy you, and overall keep you on routine and keep you on structure. Anyways guys, can enjoy this massive meal, a little bit more wine, and it's all about having flexibility, man. You gotta have a diet and a routine that's sustainable. It doesn't matter if you're traveling or at home or at work, like you gotta make it work no matter what. Currently the next day in the morning, I completely forgot to pick up the camera and end off this video, but listen up. So what I did last night was have another scoop of protein powder when I got back from the restaurant before bed. So that's typically what I like to do when I follow a two meals a day diet, like this full day of eating that I showed you all today, just to bump up my protein intake. So my goals is typically around 2,200 up to 2,400 calories with around 180 to 200 grams of protein consumed. So we're talking about 60 to 80 grams of protein for the first big meal, 60 to 80 grams of protein for the second second big meal eating out, and then just those two little supplemental shakes that get me around 20 grams of protein. Hopefully this shows you a lot of flexibility in what you can do with a two meals a day diet. Again, I followed this to get shredded in college, and I also follow this all the time now when I'm traveling and need more flexibility in my schedule. And just to kind of go back to Stephanie's point about snacking all the time and how that really throws her off with her fat loss goals. And I want to answer this because I'm sure it relates to a lot of you all who have the same issue. What you can do to avoid that is number one, eat more protein that's definitely fill you up and completely transform your diet. And then number two is to just schedule your meals and eat around your day. I know obviously today there was a lot of flexibility, but still all the meals we consume were all scheduled and really based around what I was doing. So hopefully that really helps you out. If you really don't know what you're doing, I am always there for you beyond these videos. Check out my plans and programs linked in the description box down below. I would love to personally help you out. Look, if you enjoyed this video and vlog, make sure you smash the like button right now, especially you got some OG vibes. Make sure you also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new, hit the notification bell right next to the subscribe button so you know when I upload every single week. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see every single one of you in the next video.